what's up guys welcome to a new video so today i've got three really awesome products to go through with you um, our deal for selling now and into 2020 the previous video i did on product ideas got really good feedback so i am going to make it a weekly thing so for your weekly dose then of product ideas make sure you hit subscribe and subscribe to my channel um, and the way these videos work then is i'm going to be showing you the product the reasons why it's such a good product like the trend in data um, we're going to be showing you different facebook ads and we're going to be going through the numbers as well so you know exactly what you can buy it for what you can sell it for and then essentially how much profit you can make as always there will be a one-to-one -one call giveaway but so we can dive right into it straight away and um, that will be announced later on in the video so make sure you stay tuned for that i'll probably do it after the first or second product and that being said guys thanks for tuning into my video um, i hope you enjoy it and let's get straight into it. So product number one is this smart scale. The reason it's on the list then is for a couple of reasons really. Number one is I think it would make a really awesome gift for the fitness addict. So somebody who goes to the gym consistently keeps track of their weight amongst other information like body fat, things like that. But the second reason then is because I believe that where the biggest market and potential for this product is, are people buying it for themselves. Obviously, January is the time in which people have a fresh start, new year, new me, etc., where people start joining gyms and they start taking their fitness and their health a lot more seriously. And a product like this would just complement this time of year just perfectly, in my opinion. I guess the third reason as well is that smart scales aren't new. They've been around for quite a while. Um, I've looked into them for quite a considerable amount of time if you like but when i first started looking into them you were looking at like 100 pounds 150 pounds but as technology has developed as the chinese market has got hold of these products and the quality of chinese products has increased then you can pick up something like this relatively cheap which we'll be going through in a second so point number one then is it will make a great gift for xmas for fitness addicts but as I've already mentioned then, where I believe most of the potential for a product like this to be is from Q1 onwards. Probably because that is obviously when people start to take their training and health a bit more seriously and a product like this would help them do that. The next point is a product like this is an ideal candidate for one product store potential. Um, because there's tons of content that you can create and already have access to with a product like this. To give an example, I'll show you the AliExpress product page. Um, there's just tons of different content, tons of different features and marketing kind of paths that you could go down with a product like this. So for example, obviously you've got the product itself, you've got the different features, and then you've got 17 different stats. You could have a page just on the different stats and different information that a product like this would track for somebody. Um, there's the fact that it's got auto recognition. So again, that's another kind of marketing twist you could put in it. The fact that somebody, when they buy a product like this, the it could help. So for example, then if there's a couple that want to lose weight together, there's a scale that both of them can use. They can both create their own profiles, both track their own stats um, individually. There's an app that comes with the product too. So there's just so many different avenues you can go down with a product like this. And that's like the number one reason why I see one product stores fail is that they try and build a one product store around a product that is too simple. There's just not enough information or content to make the product sound interesting, whereas you wouldn't fall at that hurdle with a product like this one. Moving on to product number four is there's some really effective marketing ad capabilities for this. Again, purely because the product is so visual and there's so many different things you could play on with your ad. So I found one just to go through with you to give an example of the kind of thing that if it was me, this is what I would create. Now, obviously it's not the exact product, but the premise and principle is the same. So I'm not gonna bore you by making you watch the whole thing. Um, this keynote will be downloadable, which includes all the links, so feel free to head over to this video and watch the whole thing yourself. Um, to download the keynote, then there will be a link in the video description below. Moving on to the next point then, is this product is currently on an upward trend. Again, if I just open up the link, then we can clearly see that this product is just about to peak in its popularity. So if we just have a quick hover over, we can see that kind of like November, December time, it's kind of on its way up. But then as soon as it hits kind of January, February, then this is where a product like this reach its peak popularity, where most people are gonna be looking to buy a product like this. The great thing about Google Trends as well, which I absolutely love, is it actually tells you what countries a product is popular in, so you know exactly which countries to target. And it also gives you these related queries because these are the things that are on breakout. These are the things that people are searching for. So they're the keywords and the topics that you can mention in your Facebook. Facebook ad. Going back to the keynote then, the next thing I wanna go through is the fact that this, a product like this has great profit margins. So the cost to us then as the dropshipper is 21 pounds, 39 pence, and that's including e-packet as well. So that's the very most in which you'll pay. Retail price as a minimum, I've seen 
stores sell products like this for 60, 70, 80 pounds. I would start at about 49.99 because that still gives you a healthy profit margin. And if your conversion rate is really good, then you could always start creeping your prices up. So based on those numbers, you'll make 28 pounds 60 profit per sale. Take out about 10, 15 pounds for your cost per purchase on Facebook. You're still looking at about 18, 13 to 18 pounds profit per sale, which is really good. Do the maths then, and that works out at 1.75 break even ROAS, which is very achievable on Facebook. Targeting wise, there's just so much scope, so much potential, which is another reason why this product makes the list. Um, so targeting wise then, I would definitely go for male and female. It doesn't matter what gender you are. Um, to want to be fit, to want to lose weight. I would go for 21 plus, um, just purely because younger people tend to spend their money on different things perhaps. Um, again, this is just my opinion. And in terms of the actual interest themselves, I would go for weight loss related activities. So for example, then when people want to lose weight, the number one thing I, so if I had to guess what people would say they had to do, it would be go running, go cycling, or get on the treadmill. So they're the kind of thought processes you need to be going through. And then I've also included Instagram on this list as well, purely because this is such a visual product. There's so much content you could create around a product like this. So I think Instagram would be a great platform to include. And as it says there, content is king. The more content you can create, the more people are gonna come across you, your brand, your product, and the more likely they are to buy your product. So what I would do then as an example is create a unique hashtag for your company, for your brand, for your product, and get customers, everybody that buys your product, get them to post progress pics. It could be reviews. It could just be an image of the product or an image of their weight or whatever it is. Just the more content you can get on social media, the bigger you're gonna build your brand and the more money you're gonna make in the long run. And that being said then, let's move on to product number two. But before we do, as I mentioned in the intro, I'm gonna be giving away a one-to-one -one call, a free one-to-one -one call with me in this one. Um, so for your chance to win that, it's really easy to do. Just make sure you hit the like button below this video if you like the video, of course. If you don't like the video, then don't. Um, and the second thing you have to do is leave a comment down below as well. So your comment is your entry into this competition. So just comment whatever you like. It can be a great video, e -com. It can be a question. I answer every single question, by the way, in the comment section. So whatever it is, leave your comment below and I will get back to you. And then the final thing you have to do then is tune into my next video where the winner will be announced. Now with that being said, let's move into product number Number two. So this is product number two then. It's a bit of a wild card to be honest because it's quite expensive and you'll need a bit of a bigger budget to get started with something like this. But I think there's huge potential and for the following reasons. Well, just in case then you didn't know, then something like this is called a turbo trainer, which is basically an indoor bike trainer. It allows cyclists to bring their bikes inside um, and still ride their bike essentially. Number one, it's perfect for this time of year, obviously with the roads being really wet. I mean, I've never rid rode a road bike like this before, but from people I know that have, then it can be quite dangerous in the wet and even more so in the ice and snow. In fact, I can't imagine anybody's gonna get on a bike um, in those sorts of conditions. So the next best thing then is to bring their bike inside so they can still get their workout in and a product like this allows them to do so. Second thing is it's a really passionate niche. I've advertised in the bike niche numerous times and people are crazy passionate about cycling, trust me. Um, it, a product like this too is currently on upward trend in popularity. Again, just to show you the Google Trend data. Once it finally loads, we can see that it's already sort of halfway up its peak and it's gonna keep peaking then all the way into January. February will still be a good month and then it will start to fall off. So now, if you're currently looking at products to sell now, then this would make an ideal one to do so. The second thing as well, the next thing, sorry, is it's really effective marketing ad capabilities. Now, what I'm about to show you is a video of somebody talking about a turbo trainer. It's not necessarily an ad, but something like this, I think would just be absolutely 100% gold for Facebook because it's not telling somebody to buy a product, it's just simply showing somebody what the product is, explaining what it can do, and that alone will be enough for somebody to sell themselves on it. So what I would do then if it was me is invest in one of these, and if you're confident speaking on camera, then record the video yourself. If not, send it to an influencer and ask them to make a video for you, and something like that, honestly, it will just go down an absolute dream on Facebook. Moving on to the last couple of points then, no one is selling these on Facebook. Now that might be a bit of an obvious exaggeration, but I spent 10 minutes trying to find somebody advertising one of these things and I just couldn't. I'm sure there'll be somebody somewhere, but what I'm trying to say then is, it's completely unsaturated. When you run ads for a product like this, there's not gonna be many other people out there trying to sell the same product. And the final point then is there's awesome, or as it says there, great profit margin. So 
So to give you an example then, 115 pounds, 73 pence, including e packets. So it's quite pricey. If you haven't got a big budget, then what you might have to do is just run ads until you sell one or two of them, wait until the orders are fulfilled and you get that payment from Shopify and then start running ads again. Retail price, I would start at 200 pounds. I think personally you could go higher than this. The way I discovered this product in fact was me and my girlfriend wanted to get her dad one of these because he never rode his bike in the winter. Um, and we looked for a solution and at that time, this was going back a couple of years now, they were 350 quid I think we ended up paying, which is just a crazy amount. So I think 200 pounds is pretty reasonable um, and you'd be able to get away with that. If you do, you get a profit margin, obviously before your Facebook ad costs of 84 pound 27. So again, if you can achieve a 10, even if you only achieve say 20 pound cost per purchase on Facebook, that's still about 65 pounds profit per sale. You wouldn't have to sell many of them per day to make a pretty decent living. Break even worse wise, it's pretty high at 2.37, but that's purely because of the actual original product purchase price. Moving on to Facebook targeting wise. Now, to sell a product like this at this sort of price, you're gonna to have to have a pretty slick store, so invest the money in a paid theme, and you're gonna be, you, you're gonna to wanna to target the most passionate people possible out there because they're the types of people who are gonna spend 200 pounds to ride their bike inside. So Facebook targeting wise, and this is my suggestion, female and male, especially this time of year because the wife, the girlfriend might come across a product like this and think it's an absolutely ideal product to get their partner or get themselves if they ride the bike themselves because ultimately it's gonna keep somebody safer too if they're riding inside versus outside, in the dark, in the wet, in the ice, whatever it is. 25 plus because it's quite an expensive product. And as it says there, you want to go for a super passionate interest. So go for specific cyclists and cycling brands like Shimano and Specialized. To illustrate this point to you then, if I said to you Lance Armstrong, you probably know who he is because he's quite famous inside of cycling and outside of cycling. So what you want to do is target those cyclists that are only famous within cycling because then only cycling geeks and people super passionate about cycling will know about those people and therefore be linked to them on Facebook. A couple of other things you could think about as well to keep in the back of your mind is certain cycling magazines and websites. The only people who are going to subscribe and pay money for cycling magazines are probably people who are quite passionate about the subject and actually ride their bike quite frequently and therefore will be interested in a product like this one. Moving on to product number three then guys just in case that previous one was a bit expensive for you here's a nice cheap one that again has a lot of potential and has some good profit margins. So it's an LED magnification mirror. Now the magnification the magnification point or feature of this product is quite important, or at least my girlfriend tells me so. Um, she has one of these and she says without the magnification, then it makes it a lot more difficult to put your makeup on um, more accurately. And I promise that's for my girlfriend and not me. Um, so make sure it's LED because then it lights up the face um, perfectly again and makes it easier and make sure it has the magnification option as well. Number one then, it makes perfect gift this Xmas because it's affordable um, and there's quite a big market for a product like this. Um, which is actually point number two. There's just absolutely huge, huge, huge scope. Number three, it has great Facebook ad capabilities. I know this has been a point for each one, but I wanted to take the time to actually show you a Facebook ad example. So if you actually do decide to take one of these products and put it in your store and start advertising it, then at least I'll point you in the right direction and you know what a good ad looks like. And you can use this as inspiration. Like I've said, um, this keynote will be downloadable, so you will have access to all of these links, all of these products, etc. Um, going back to the keynote then, the next point then is that there's, again, there's not many advertisers on Facebook that are truly dominate in this space and this product. So in my opinion, there's a gap in the market for somebody to take this product and really like grasp hold of it and actually own it on Facebook and be the go-to person again for a product like this. Next thing is there's plenty of upsell offers. Being in the niche that it is, which is obviously cosmetics, makeup, etc., skincare, then there's so many different products you could add on top of this, which is always a really good thing because the quickest and easiest way to make more money on Shopify, in my opinion, is to add an upsell or cross-sell offer. And in my past experience, then what you pay for the app is like the cheapest money you can almost guarantee pretty much. As long as you don't have like a just a stupidly crazy upsell offer, like you're selling somebody this mirror and then you try and upsell them a basketball, then obviously this is not gonna convert. But if you have something similar within the same niche, you'll get a better conversion rate and you'll be able to make more profits too. A quick little note is that just make sure the upsell offer is from the same supplier. That way it will get shipped together and you'll only pay one carriage charge too. Next point then is this product, believe it or not, it's actually on a huge upward trend and at its peak popularity. Again, to show you the Google Trend data. And now it's finally loaded, I can show you that 
you can clearly see it's on an upward trend. It hasn't reached the peak yet. So again, if you're looking for products to sell today, right now, this week, this month, then this would make an ideal candidate to do so. Moving on, and the final point then is this great profit margin. It's probably one of the most profitable products. In fact, the most profitable products I've shown you in this video. Um, and to give you an example then, so £6.68 including the e-packet, so it's dead cheap. You don't have to worry about import duties, nothing like that. Retail price, I would start at £24.99. I think that's very reasonable. And you could probably, depending on which mirror you actually go for, probably charge a bit more, um, which would leave you with an £18.31 pence profit. Minus about £10 cost per purchase on Facebook leaves you with £8.31 and that's based on the fact that you're not using an upsell or cross-sell um, which gives you then a 1.36 break-even ROAS. Now 1.36 is very low and very achievable so if you are new to dropshipping, new to Shopify, new to Facebook ads then this would make a great entry product for you. In terms of the Facebook targeting then I would definitely stick to females. They're not going to be that many males, in my opinion, out there that are going to buy a product like this, unless they're buying it for their girlfriend, of course. Um, 18 plus. In fact, you could probably go a bit lower than this, I think. Um, I don't know what the age is you can get a debit card nowadays, but you could probably go a bit lower, in fact. Um, and then the tar in terms of the actual interest I would target, I'll go for makeup brands, perfume brands, skincare brands, um, beauty products, etc. Makeup influencers as well would be a great one to target to send a mirror like this to a makeup influencer and for them to actually do their makeup using this product is great content. It would make a great ad and obviously you're going to get the reach as well once they post it on their platforms. And then finally, certain makeup websites too. Just try and make it as specific as possible to the audience that would actually use a product like this one. And that being said then guys, that wraps up all three products. So thank you very much for watching. Um, I apologize for the length of this video. I thought it was gonna be about 12 minutes and I've just looked and we're like 16, 17, 18 minutes. So I do apologize. I will try and cut them down shorter. But if you are still watching, I really do appreciate it. Thank you very much. Um, the support recently has just been absolutely awesome. So please do keep it coming. Obviously, if you enjoyed the video, please hit that like button. Please hit that subscribe button. And for your chance to win that one-to-one -one call then, make sure you leave a comment down below as well. And with that being said, let's get into announcing the winner of the previous video so here we are then on the so here we are on the previous video what we can learn from these one million dollar drop shipping stores um, we've got some pretty awesome feedback again if that one proves popular if we can get that to 100 likes in fact i'll make that a weekly video as well anyway we're here to announce the winner of the call so i'm just going to take the link head over to the random comment picker and we have 39 unique comments so thank you to everybody who entered the competition and the winner then of the previous video is myself <laughs> so let's go back then to the video and let's redo that in fact can we do it this way let's go for pick another winner obviously i'm not going to have a call myself so the winner then of the next one-to-one -one call will completely throw me off now is meek so thank you very much for your comment um hit me up on instagram we can get that call arranged and guys if you just want to get straight down to business book a call right away you can do so just make sure you check out the links in the video description below and that being said guys thanks very much for watching um, i hope you enjoyed it and hopefully see you in the next one too cheers